She picked her up by her pigtails and did sort of like an Olympic hammer throw over a wrought iron fence. That's an arrestable offense. Hello, I'm Dan. I was an adjunct professor in art and film, and today I'm going to be taking a look at some uh, famous depictions of teachers in movies and television and telling you what I think. 1990s kindergarten cop. Favorite of mine back in the 90s. Let's, uh, let's see how it holds up. Today we're going to play a new fun game. It's called Police School. What child isn't excited to play a game in school, first and foremost? No more complaining, no more Mr. Kim left to go to the bathroom, nothing. There is no bathroom! Problematic. He should definitely allow those children to go to the bathroom. That's how you get uh, bladder disorders. Well, I've got news for you. You are mine now. You belong to me. I've been a child. Like, I know what it's like to have an authority figure tell you that your parents can't help you. Like, this is, you're with me now. That's downright terrifying. These children should be bursting into tears. And maybe I was just a very sensitive child. As far as what he's doing, you know, he's establishing authority. I can't begrudge that. Not necessarily falling in line with a school of teaching that I would go with. He's not trying to establish trust. He's trying to rule by fear. But, um, I mean, you expect nothing less from the Terminator. I mean, come on. I would say that if I had to put him into uh, an A through F grade scale, he's a D. He's not passing. He could bring it up to a C minus if he were to reverse that bathroom policy. That really stuck with me. I don't know. Maybe that hit something in me. Matilda. Ooh, okay. Out of my way. Ah, fresh meat. She carrying around a riding crop? What are those? You mean my pigtails? Are you a pig, Amanda? No, Miss Trunchbull. Oh, this kid just wants to please. My mommy thinks they're sweet. Your mommy is a twit. This, this teacher, who is carrying around a, a riding crop throughout the entire scene and is poking the girl. I mean, obviously, that's a... That's a non-starter. There's a, a real hard zero tolerance, at least for me, when it comes to striking children. But! A but! Can't. Did you say but? I'll give you but! Good oh my gosh! That nice. level of discipline is something that I wish on no child. A hard F. Um, for this, for this teacher, uh, and prison, truthfully. Beyond F, expulsion, true expulsion. School of Rock, 2003's School of Rock. I don't want to give a bad grade to Jack Black. I really hope he, he holds up. Here's the deal. I've got a hangover. Who knows what that means? Doesn't that mean you're drunk? No, it means I was drunk yesterday. Definitely falling victim to two things I've done as a teacher before. Number one, he's trying to be cool. He's trying to be the cool teacher. The second thing he's guilty of, which I've also been guilty of, is uh, trying to, like, he's wearing, like, a teacher costume, in a sense. I hope I haven't come off this badly. Jack Black, ultimately, he passes. He's gonna get through the day. He's not going to probably strike a child. He's the type of, like, teacher that's just gonna throw on a film, throw on, like, a nice, solid PG movie. His grade is a C plus. He's a solid C plus. I think there's room for improvement. Breaking Bad, 2008. I mean, 58, I was close. What is close? There's no close in science, Barry. There are right answers and wrong answers. Classic science teacher. Yeah, but I'm just saying, Mr. White, two points. I mean, I really studied, like, really, really studied, like, all night hard and... This student's so not doing a good job of convincing me that he deserves a second chance. Couldn't you please just let this slide? Don't bullshit a bullshitter. The answer is no. Next time, apply yourself. Yeah. There's nothing worse than when a student's like, can't you just let this slide? If he's having an issue in the classroom, this is something that could be voiced long before a test happens. I'm gonna give Walter White a, a solid B plus. No, you know what? Take it down. B minus. He could have curbed some of the language. Boy Meets World, all right. So I have never seen Boy Meets World. My savage is Fred, not Ben. I cheated, Mr. Feeney. I had the answers to the test written on my hand. And you only managed an A minus? <laughs> Why did you do this, Mr. Matthews? I don't know. I. I really wanted to go to Europe this summer, and I... I don't have I much sympathy for privilege, so... 
<laughs> That's superficial, Mr. Matthews. Perhaps it's something a little deeper? <sighs> there is no deeper with me, Mr. Feeney. I'm not a good student. Might as well just accept it. I have. The only thing that limits you, Mr. Matthews, is your laziness. I mean, you're just looking for an excuse to never get the grades that I know you're capable of getting. I'm not capable. I don't write people off, Mr. Matthews. You're a good teacher, Mr. Feeney. He is. Yes, sir, and you're He is a good teacher. Look. I look forward to working with you in summer school. Yeah. It'll be a good summer. Oh, and that sitcom freeze frame at the end. Ooh! He's understanding, he's clearly listening, which is something that I think a lot of teachers often don't do. He seems to really be taking the specifics of this student's situation into account and listened and said, yes, I understand, but there'll be other, like Europe's not going anywhere, hopefully. I mean, Mr. Feeney gets an A in my book. He got the student to do what he wanted the student to do, and he did it without threats, without harsh language, without bullying. That takes a, a certain type of person. We can all aspire to be a Mr. Feeney. I'm y'all substitute teacher, Mr. Garvey. I taught school for 20 years in the inner city. <laughs> I love city. this sketch so much. So don't even think <laughs> about messing with me. It's so good. Y'all feel me? Let's take a roll here. Jay Quellen. Where's Jay Quellen at? No Jay Quellen here? I'm sorry, it's... <clears throat> yeah. Uh, do you mean Jacqueline? Okay, so that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> Y'all wanna play. He's coming in in sort of the opposite of a Jack Black. He's like, he knows he's coming into a, an unknown dynamic and he just asserts himself as a uh, strong authority figure. If one of y'all says some silly ass name, this whole class is gonna feel my wrath. Now, D nice. Do you mean Denise? Oh, no. <laughs> I love that sketch. Pronouncing someone's name is incredibly important. When you willingly pronounce it wrong or don't take the time to learn how to pronounce it right, you're sort of stripping them of a level of humanity. So I think it's very important to learn how to pronounce a student's name correctly. It's also good to establish a, a space to where they can correct you about pronunciations, about pronouns, about identification. I'll give him a, a, a C minus. He's got some learning to do. I would say, honestly, out of all of these, Walter White might be the most accurate, and that's a little scary. Depictions of teachers on film typically only deal with classroom moments. You don't see a lot of teachers just like slinking in the corner in the teacher's lounge, like eating a sandwich and just kind of coming down from the two hours that they spent talking without a break. I'd love to see more of the, the, the come down or like the, the sad teacher's lounge coffee. I mean, you don't see a lot, of, a lot of that, a lot of the stress relievers that are necessary to teach another class. <laughs>